Well, tech is tumbling, uh, maybe big tech most especially. Uh, uh, the Nasdaq down 5% in October, even though earnings have been pretty strong so far. Rising yields, worries about a slowdown, those are among the reasons tech is selling off. And to put it all in perspective, as we await Amazon results later today, let's bring in Deidre Bosa. Hi, Dee. Hey, so Tyler, let me put this most simply. It's the year of efficiency versus the year of AI hype layoffs or slowing hiring cost cuts. That came first, the mega caps clearing the way for the rising capex. Steve and Christina were just alluding to. But now the street may be getting nervous again about margin erosion and weighing the promise of generative AI versus the economics of it all. So the question for Amazon is whether the weakness that we've seen in Alphabet and MetaShares is somehow about the fundamentals or if it's part of a yield-driven rut that's affecting equities as a whole. Now, Amazon has been a mega cap laggard over the last 12 months, slowing cloud growth, its costly logistics build out, playing catch up in AI. So the bar is arguably lower here, but it will still need to balance those costs with the growth. It's cloud unit, AWS, that is the profit engine of the company, and it helps pay for all of those ambitions, particularly in artificial intelligence. But revenue growth here has been decelerating for six straight quarters, and operating margins have shrunk. Now, the street wants to see that that slump really has bottomed in cloud. So if Andy Jassy and his team can't confidently say that it has, Amazon could be another mega cap drag on the market, guys. I guess the question, uh, Deirdre, is since we can't really see into the future, but what would be probably the, the most sensitive pain point for investors uh, in this report? For Amazon, yeah. it's AWS, without a doubt. And remember, because this is the profit engine, it's a big season coming up for holiday shopping. Typically, Amazon's biggest, but really the street wants to know that cloud has bottomed. And that's where it's putting all of its AI efforts as well. And, you know, we got kind of mixed signals from Microsoft and Alphabet. Google Cloud was weaker, and Ruth Porat said that customers were re-optimizing their spend, whereas Microsoft said that they're actually seeing some of the benefit from their AI tools. So I'm not sure what we're going to see from Amazon, but it definitely has the ability to throw off markets further if it comes in below below what they're expecting, say 11%. If revenue growth comes in at 13, some on the street say that could be bullish. Absolutely. All right, Deirdre, we appreciate it. Deirdre Bosa tracking those results today.